All right, today I'm going to be addressing something that really irks me and really makes my blood boil and really grinds my gears. And that is when people refer to getting takeout from the restaurant, the popular Asian restaurant called Lian Chin. And they say, oh yeah, we picked up Lian Chin's, okay? This happened to me twice personally today and countless more times in the history of the last year probably, okay? Here's what, here's what they say. Oh yeah, we got Lian Chin's. Now, you wanna know why that's wrong? I'll tell you why. No one says we got Burger Kings. No one says we got Outback Steakhouses. No, you can say we got Wendy's, we got McDonald's, we got Culver's. You can say all of the above. You cannot say we got Lian Chin's. Let me make that clear. You cannot say we got Lian Chin's. You are adding a possessive S to a restaurant for absolutely no good reason. It makes little to no sense. I would even argue it drops your IQ by the double digits. Because the names like Wendy's, Culver's, they already have an S in the name. Therefore, you can use it as a possessive and keep that S in there when you say the name. It would not make sense to say we got Wendy, we got McDonald, we got Culver. <laughs> no, it's, that's irrational. That's inconceivable to my human brain. But what you would, what you would, what you would not do again is say Lian Chin's because you're adding an S that never existed at the end of Chin C H I N to Lian Chin's. This is not a hard concept. In fact, this is a very, very simple concept. So if you are one of these people that refers to Lian Chin as Lian Chin's, please stop it. Please stop that immediately because the world doesn't need that. There's enough going on in the world right now that we don't need people speaking nonsense like Lian Chin's, okay? If you're a person who says Outback Steakhouses, yeah, we got some Outback Steakhouses. Please stop that as well. If you say we got In-N-Out Burgers, I can see that, that's a little bit different. If you did get multiple burgers, since you are referring to the exact specific food itself as burger, I'll give you some grace there. But if you're seriously saying we got Lian Chin's for dinner or for lunch or whatever the occasion for your nephew's birthday party, it really doesn't matter. Just stop it, drop it, roll it, whatever you have to do. Get that habit out of your head because it's terrible. You're not terrible. Your habit is, is terrible. You are loved by God, but your habit is not. I don't believe God looks with glee upon people who say Leanne Chins. So stop it. I'm not mad. I'm just trying to prove a point. If you'd like to talk to me personally about this, feel free. But that's, that's all I have for today, honestly. Just Leanne Chins, I don't understand. How did it even come to an existence? into existence? I don't know. Who was the first person to say Lian Chins and just started maddening revolution that grinds my gears? I don't know. I would love to meet that person and talk to them because I'm sure they would enlighten me. I'm sure I could hear their side of the story. But honestly, I hope I never have to hear Lian Chins again because if I do, one of these times I may just lose it. So don't like, don't make me lose it. Just be normal. Call it Lian Chin and enjoy it because it really is good food. You get a free fortune cookie. The food is usually quality. There's about one out of every 10 times that the food is not good or below average, but it's honestly very good most of the time. So if you made it this far, drop a like, subscribe, more content coming very soon and have a blessed day.